it has been a while, hasn't it? Last video I did, I had, uh, I had long hair. That's funny. I've been like this for, like, so long now. So, I was looking... Oh, well, the reason I've been gone so long is because my computer was broken. So, I have it fixed now, and I can work again. Making a bunch of music and shit, too. Uh, new soul contract stuff coming out soon. Um, ah, uh, what was I gonna say? Oh, yes. Um, so, I was looking in my YouTube recommendations, just on my homepage, and I saw this, like, uh, painting that I know a guy on Instagram. He did the painting for this album. I follow him, I think. Um, and he did this album cover, and I was like, oh, that looks interesting. So I listened to the first song, which was fucking awesome. Like, weird, weirdo metal shit, and I love weird shit, so... I'm, it's very exciting. Um, this is Grim Salvo with the album Mildred. Um, I'm really, I think this is gonna be fucking cool. Um, it's been a fucking minute, dude. I, I guess let's just get into that shit. Okay, so I've, I've listened to this one, so I know what this is, the, the ending is so, ugh. It's really interesting acoustic guitar you know almost like a like a home depot mixed with like trap metal or like emo rap like bad lad something like that with a like the really reverbed uh, like gritty uh, talking and then like the like country-ish like guitar and singing really cool like a butt rock emo trap and then I guess into the metal in a second like ooh. also the way the drums in this part in this first part like build and build and now there's like a tambourine and little fills now there's a hi-hat coming in excellent excellent production too it's not like so good Really a good like standard like but like still like kind of gnarly scream. I like the uh, panning on the guitar there. The guitar is the also with still with the, like the trap like bass the uh, sample and stuff for the bass drum, not like the bass guitar. back to the beginning, but like with, you know, a little more movement in the, in the rhythms, the tambourine and the, uh, eighth notes. The emo rap part, that's oh, 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 oh. Suicide Boy's ass. Also, I love the album cover. It's like weird. It matches the music really nicely, I think. At least for the first song. Oh, it's such a great like vocal lead in into the second chorus. Or, no, this isn't the same as earlier. It's the second like verse, the screaming part. This is the chorus. The new drums with the top. Now it's back into the trap beat. Uh, kind of tighter, cleaner production with the guitars. And Dude, the mix is so good. You can tell I spent like a lot of time on all this panning on the little crashes there, like, that's really subtle. Heavy-ass bass.
that noise is fucking cool. Like the, hunters like him. If he finds it's like a movie trailer. I love like really impactful like dark music like that. So. A fairy or demigod. There is only one thing I can do. Open fire and eliminate them. God, that's so cool, dude. Someone who's into like slam and shit, like you know. and then back at the chorus at the end. Really tapped out vocals. This whisper like scream is of the ha 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 in the background. Little high pitch noise is sick. Bouncy like new metal riff, like uh live can form die some shit. Nice bass. Alright, and now we are into undiscovered territory. I've never heard any other song by this band. Okay, okay. Cool, like the sample reminds me of uh, e Evil Ego by Scar Lord. The kind of detuned piano. Or the uh, uh, mumble rap. Really insightful lyrics. Ooh, the trap hats coming in. Uh, one thing I will note on this song and the last song, I really like so far the uh, the kind of use of like acoustic samples and the trap drum beats. I, I really that this is a really interesting sound. This kind of like heavy like trap like metal shit reminds me of a. Uh, there's a song called like Human Holocaust by like a fucking random numbers. It's like really heavy trap shit like this with like screams and stuff. I'll put it on the screen. That was a fun flow, I like that. Oh, that That was, yeah, that, that's fucking cool. Tambourine's coming back in. Also, a guitar now, fading in. All right. A lot more of like a low-key drop than I was expecting. Trap hi-hat's coming back in. Oh, that's fun switching over drums. Heavy 808. Filtered in the rapid. Oh, 
like the little bell. Also, guitars are coming in the chorus now. Make it a little heavier, a little more intense. Those were some interesting noises at the end there, too. Okay, immediately, the vibe change. I like the name of this song. Oh. Oh. Building a white noise there. Again, much more of a low-key drop than I was expecting. Still with the trap drums, no actual, like, acoustic drums yet. So it's a weird rhythm. I like the uh, really reverb rim shot. The vocals, the singing's a little bit more forward on the mix on this one. Interesting uh, lucid guitar work there. With the bass magic. Also, I heard just really low droning noise for a second. Yeah, that's fun and cool. A lot of layers, a lot of shit going on. Oh, oh I like the little uh, filter, the helicopter filter on that. Oh, panning. That is, that was cool. Little like door like noise. Yeah, that. Oh, I like this part a lot. Like a house beat. Nice fun music fill there. The drums are really quiet in the mix so far. Noticeably louder than the last part. Oh, back to that fun guitar. Uh, Groups like earlier. Also, the really wide vocals again, taking over like most of the mix. Back to the house beat. More like really tapped out, like acoustic drum fills. Also, halftime. The a little more distortion on the guitar. Oh! And the nice little guitar like pluck leads like do 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 like tool shit. Nice sample. Alright, oh! Oh! That's a sick guitar lead. Oh, oh. Ooh. Bouncy 808. More standard trap beat this time. Oh! Acoustic hi hat for a second. It's a fun flow. Really bouncy. I like the screams in the background on the. Ah! 
sounds like a the screamer guy from uh, I Prevail kind of when he does the. I put it around that. Oh. System. Uh, I I'm assuming this is the feature. This is cool. I really like this one. This is really cool. Cadence and and their voice. Oh, you know the speed. Arr, arr. Ooh. Oh, wow. Bring weird. Oh. Uh, this reminds me of a. Uh... This chorus reminds me of Grizzy D, the uh, joke, joke trap metal project by Austin Dickey. Yeah. Uh, on the first song, I was expecting a lot more like, like the screams and the. I did high screams in the first one. Also, a lot. I was expecting a lot more like guitar and shit. More fun samples. Oh. Oh. Okay, kind of like boom bap, boom bap ish. Some of like the sample work like Deep Web does. This is the same feature as the last song, I guess. Yeah, sounds like. Their voice is really cool, I really like that. Yeah, that's really fun. Really like classic energy to it, like DC Boys or like Joey Valens and Bray kind of shit. Really clean rap tone compared to the rest so far. More fun flows. Tap that drum sound. What? More fun production. Oh, water, water noises. Oh, I guess some like pretty flowery production. That's cool. Oh, coming in with strings again. Oh, oh. octave higher now. Oh, fun reverse noise. The layers are really cool. Fish pressure going up there. Mm. Tape stop. That was really sick. Oh, more fun sample work. Ah, oh, so much going on. This is this is freaking cool so far. Not what I was expecting off of the first one, but I'm really enjoying this. Spooky. 
Nice how it gets like wider in the mix each time too. Time for the sad one. Auto tune. Oh, oh. Oh shit, are those big band drums? Ah, triplet fills. Alright. Oh, that's a good melody. Catchy. More guitars coming in. Your guitars all have like a really, uh, really like distinct guitar tone, like with the really like little uh, distortion, but like like the really crunchy tone. Delay on this one. Clean guitar. Percussions coming in. Oh. Oh, that drop was clean. Now oh, everything like built in slowly. Hi, that's. That's also a fun uh, cadence in his voice. More guitar in the background. Helping the rhythm. Oh! Back in with the band, big band drums from the beginning. All right, back to the yeah, hell yeah. Back to the beginning melody. More with the like scream whisper. I'm like the first song. Oh, tapped out now. A lot of more fun guitar stuff happening with like the panning and then the chugs. Oh, that drops so clean. Oh, I like how they just keep this going. This is really sick. Actually, I, I'm really liking this so far. That was, that was sick. I really like that one. This might be my favorite so far. Emo. Emo name. Another feature. Ah, oh, that's a really nice bass. I mean, quad echo shit. Like on like knots or whatever. Maybe not as a uh, like noisy. Mm. Yeah, yeah. A lot of interesting percussions going on in this, in this piece. More distorted data weight this time, like within destruction shit. More gritty uh, flow again. Mm. Triplets. Oh, was a fun one. More 
more fun flows when the the doubles with that screams in the background. The guitar's coming in now. Mmm. Mmm. Plug bass. Oh. Oh. Really heavy snare now, like synth wave. Back to the beginning. Guitar licks. Really tapped out reverb screams in the background. Yeah! Oh, that was fun. Duh. That was sick. A lot of really fun sample work. Whatever that... Okay, that's the guitar licks from earlier going... Oh, that was fun. It's building again with that guitar in the background again. Oh, drop heavy. Boom, 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 boom. More interesting acoustic or, or clean guitar at the end. More guitars. Fun sampling in the background, like a uh, ODD by a uh, Live Conform Die. Kind of shit. A lot of more interesting noises again. More screams. Okay. Really wanna know I'm asking. Oh, that was cool. All the bass got more distorted. Not the turn I was expecting this. Oh, that's bouncy. More like Grizzly D vocals. Switch and the 808 switch too. That kind of like fun, like do 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 do, like the uh, rhythm that Scott going is really cool, really driving forward. The already more vibe switches. It's totally different. Alright, this is kind of more like the drop I was expecting at the beginning, and then it double-timed it. Uh, really, uh, fun snare, though. Whoa! Switch back to more of a generic trap snare with the hi-hats and shit. I like this one a lot too. Double tongued again. Different beat though. Was cool. Makes his opening up more, getting wider. That was good. I really like that one. More like interesting, like southern e guitars. Mm. 
Oh, that's fun. Uh, the beat match the bam, 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 and the vocals. Okay, oh, right. interesting cadence. Can't tell if I like it or not. Freddy got fingers reference. More like emo rap cadences again. A bit of it. A lot of vocal fry. Alright. More melodic flow here. That was cool, the descending. More clean guitars on this one. Alright. Alright. I like this part, this part's cool. Okay. These choruses catch on really fast. Like, I've never heard this in my life. Oh. Fun acoustic drum fill there. Now the crash cymbals and the hi hats coming in. I really like the, uh, super, like, distorted drums in the background, uh, with the fills, like, uh, Retro Vertigo by Mr. Bundle. Also, like, that That's really weird, like, southern, like, spirit world, like, thrash kind of shit, but, like, with the trap metal stuff, that's really cool. Alright, last song. I like the filtering on the vocals there. Mm. Mm. Acoustic bass this time. More guitar, dark guitar work. Okay. Lead coming in. More of that filtered uh, vocal from earlier, except it's louder now. More of the trap hi hats again. Also, more fun, catchy vocal melodies. Really like that weird like high pitch. Oh, that was fun. Oh, this is also a fun flow. Switching it up from the flow he did in the last part, which is kind of he's been doing that on the whole album. Back to that. Hiding into shadows only. Cadence change. That's something I don't hear people do much. Like starting and in one cadence and then finishing the lines in a different cadence. Mm. Ooh. Fun stop. And then before that there was the panning in the background with the Okay. More of the heavier vocals. Mm. Ride symbol now. Acoustic right symbol. Probably a symbol, but I mean like the sound of the brand. Triplet flow again, but with the screams this time. Ooh. 
palm muted guitars. The instrumentals have so much happening. Jesus. Change ups like every four bars. See, like that little guitar line? I can't imagine how big these uh, production files must be. More samples. Also, I like the piano. I didn't hear that until just now. More interesting guitar stuff again. That fun lead again, the really high pitched one. It's like Monster Man or some shit. Another uh, fun uh, melodic flow here. Okay, really reverbs tapped out production now. I keep using that word, I'm sorry. I will refrain from using tapped out anymore. Okay. Came in clean with the 808 again. Or the dark guitars. And a fun vocal melody from the beginning. More of the pop muted guitars. Really subtle. I like this, 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 these vocals are really good. Really, like, thick. Really good production. Mm. Okay. Okay. More fun vocal editing, like Badland shit. Where he goes, ah, 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 before he like comes in and says it. Like glitches and stuff, shit. Speaking of, really, the lead is like really reverbed and glitchy now. And one last sample to end it. Yeah, that was fucking, that was really cool. Uh, the production had so much shit going on. Uh, the vocals were really good. There's a lot of really interesting cadences and like heavy parts and there was a lot of weight to it, but like it wasn't like too much, you know, it wasn't just like rah, 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 like the whole time, you know, he kept it really interesting and varied. Uh, same thing with the instrumentals. The instrumentals were fucking nuts on this one. I re yeah, I really enjoyed that. A lot of like the same like themes throughout, like the dark guitars and the weird leads and like the same like sort of vocals and stuff like that. And, like, having the same feature on two songs. A lot of the sample work throughout the album is really cool. Um, but, like, it's all really, like, interesting to listen to. And, like, it, they utilized it really well. And, like, it doesn't feel, like, boring at all. And the album didn't overstay its welcome. I think I think that ended at a really good time. Just, like, you know, just before I started to be like, oh, okay. It's more of the same, right? But, you know, uh, that last song picked it up again at the end with the heavier flows and stuff. I wasn't expecting that. I thought it was going to be, like, just, like, emo for, like, the second half. But, you know. Um, yeah, no, that was fucking cool. I really like the album cover. Uh, uh, the names of the songs were fun. All the features were really fun, too. Uh, the one song that was produced by someone else, that, w that was cool. Uh, unless these are all produced by someone else and I they just don't uh, credit them. Or the, it's like a band's producer, I don't know, dog. But like this is this is some fucking cool shit. This is really cool. I'm I'm probably gonna listen to this later, honestly. I'm I'm glad. I'm glad I listened to this. Also, you know, I'm fucking back. Anyways bye bye, ba bitch.